Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have an antique mall haul today. Uh, this is a really fun mall. I, I enjoy this one a lot. I've been to it before, and um, I like the variety that they have in there. And I hope you like the variety of stuff that I found there. Um, so these items are available. I'll say, I'm not quite sure which ones I grabbed. This is like half of what I, I picked up there. I'll do another half another day. Uh, but I believe most of these items will be available for sale as soon as you see the video. Might be a couple I'll save just for the live sales, but uh, I believe most of these are available um, as soon as you see them. So if you're interested, you can comment below or you can send me an email, um, which is also in the description below. My live sales are every Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern and Wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m. Eastern. And uh, don't forget to uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not yet and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I go live from my sales and when I put out new content like this. I think that's everything. So let's get into the fun. And if anything else pops into my head, well, I'll just shout it out. <laughs> And oh, this I can tell, this is part of something. Um, so let me find the other part that that is part of before I show you the whole thing. And I do believe this is part, okay. So I am getting this all set up. All of this is one fantastic thing. Now, here this is. So this is the smaller of the hobnail eperns. Absolutely gorgeous. Now this would be used as a vase. Now the one thing I do wanna point out, although all of these are the milk glass, this piece in particular, this is not an exact match of the others, and it's really hard to tell that. Um, this one does have the ring of fire to it. This is an older piece that went to an older epern, and when I hold it up to the light, I can see the ring of fire. Now, these other pieces, I believe, yep, these are newer pieces. The base and the others are newer pieces um, and they do not have the ring of fire. But I thought this was such a beautiful set that I didn't really care that the one piece wasn't an exact match. And I thought it was really cool that it was an older piece and did have the ring of fire. But I absolutely loved this Epern. I thought this was just stunning. I, I could not leave this behind. We don't get a lot of Eperns in the live sales, and so I thought this one being the slightly smaller version um, and a little easier to ship would be a really good one to have um, in the live sales. So yeah, I was really, really happy to find this one. Now I'm going to check the bottom because I don't remember off the top of my head if there was a mark, let me get out my little magnifier here. Um, I may have to look a little closer to see if there is a mark. You know, first, first instinct would be, you know, that this could be a Fenton. It could be a Westmoreland. I'm not seeing a Westmoreland mark on it. Um, so I'm kind of leaning more towards the other. And I'm looking at this piece, trying to see if there is a mark on it. And I'm not seeing it. I'm going to look at the older piece. 
and see that there is not a mark that I can see on it. But uh, yeah, so here is the bowl, what it looks like without those um, little, the little vases that are in there. And this is what it looks like. And here is the back. But uh, yeah, it's in beautiful condition. And I just, again, thought this was a super cool set. So there's the one piece. There is the second piece in and the third piece right in there. And so they fit beautifully in there. And uh, yeah, so that was, that was a fun one. I'm going to move my little bag up here. And we'll see what else I have. Oh, that's also part of a set. <laughs> Let's see if this is the other part. Oh, yes, it is. And let's see, this might be the other part of the set. There we go. Oh, this one was so cute. Look at this. This is a little salt and pepper set. They fit in the little holes right there. There is the bottom. It is marked Japan with the cork stopper. And look at this little rosebud with the butterfly on top. Oh, isn't that just fantastic? And then that one sits right there. And then this one also has a little butterfly on top. Oh, I just loved this set. It is so cute. Look at that. And I'll take these out real quick. So I can show you this like a little, um, uh, what am I trying to think of? Like a little arbor. There we go. And then this is marked made in Japan all made out of the little porcelain, but oh, I loved that. Oh, here, let me turn it. I think it goes in that way. That's like the flatter end. And then this one, I think that is the flatter end, but oh, so pretty. Look at them in there. Love that set. And oh, Yes, look at this one. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. I loved this bowl. Absolutely loved it. Now it does seem like there is a little bit of a crack right there, but does not take away, takes away from maybe the servability of the bowl, but oh, this was so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I loved this. Now, I don't know the pattern on this, but I will try to see if I can figure out the pattern on it. And this one does not glow. I'm just double checking that, but no, no glow on this. It is just stunningly beautiful. And again, to use this as anything other than, I would say, a food server, you would be fine because, again, I would worry about that little bit of a crack right there. I don't know. Um, I think it's beyond just a straw mark. I think that is a crack. But, you know, preserving some of these amazing pieces is part of uh, what we really like to do. And these can be repurposed into things other than food servers so that um, we can retain their beauty and functionality. But yeah, I just thought the shape on this one was just incredible. Now this, I have a feeling is EAPG, but again, I'm going to double check and see if I can find that pattern because that's kind of a wow. this up oh, okay well darn it that one is a two-parter too and i don't have the other part with me so 
I'm going to show you this part and then I'm going to hold it over because I'm going to get the candle out of here. But this is a fairy lamp. So there is, and you can see the little piece of tape holding the lid on. <laughs> so there is a beautiful lid that goes on top of this. So I'm going to work on getting the candle out of here. And when I find the lid, when I do another haul video and I find that lid, I am going to show it to you um, in all of its fantastic glory without the remnants of the candle. It is nice, again, that someone appreciated it enough to use it. And I'm going to get the rest of this tape off of here, too. Um, yeah, so if you are interested, now the EPERN, I will say, I will probably, again, leave that for a live sale unless you feel like making me an offer. I cannot refuse on that one. Uh, but uh, yeah, so small, small haul today, uh, but really great pieces in this haul. And again, I'm going to work on getting this one and showing you the fantastic finished fairy lamp on that one. So thank you so much for watching. And remember, these items will start being incorporated into my live sales every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. But if you are interested in those, um, just let me know in the comments below or send me an email. And, um, oh yes, don't forget to subscribe. If you have not yet subscribed and click the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up. And if you can share the video out to others who might enjoy this kind of content. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.